Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through data handling. In previous sessions, we examined the grouped frequency distribution table. We have already constructed a grouped frequency distribution table of marks obtained by 60 students in a mathematics test. We know that each frequency represents the number of students who obtained marks during the corresponding class intervals. In a class interval, the lower number is included, while the upper number is excluded. Let's convert this data into a graph. Here the table shows a set of numerical data, and we need to make a visualization of this. And this visualization is called a histogram. Now, let's see the visualization of the given data. First of all, draw the x-axis and y-axis such that their meeting point is marked as origin O. On the x-axis, we represent the range of values being measured divided into class intervals. Here, the class interval started from 0 and ended at 60. Since the class width is 10, so mark the point as 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 on the x-axis. And on the y-axis, we represent the corresponding frequencies. Here, the minimum value of frequency is 1, and the maximum value of frequency is 21. So for convenience, we take the points on y-axis as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22. Now, draw the bars for the corresponding frequencies. In 0 to 10, there are two students. So draw a bar of height 2. And in 10 to 20, there are 10 students. So draw a bar of height 10. Then in 20 to 30, there are 21 students. So draw a bar of height 21. Next, in 30 to 40, there are 19 students, so draw a bar of height 19. In 40 to 50, there are 7 students, so draw a bar of height 7. And in 50 to 60, there is only one student, so draw a bar of height 1. Now we get a histogram that shows the frequency of numerical data. Here, the height of the bars shows the frequency of the class interval and there is no gap between the bars as there is no gap between the class intervals. This type of graph is called a histogram. That is, a histogram is a graphical display of data using bars of different heights, having no gap between them. The bars in a histogram are rectangles with class intervals as the base and corresponding frequency as height. Now, with the help of this histogram, we can easily find answer to questions like Which group has the maximum frequency? How many students scored 40 marks and above? How many students scored less than 20 marks? Let's answer these questions. Our first question is which group has the maximum frequency? The group, 20 to 30, has the maximum frequency. Next question is, how many students scored 40 marks and above? From the graph, we can see that the number of students in the class interval, 40 to 50, is 7. Here, 40 is included and 50 is excluded. And in the class interval, 50 to 60 the number of students is 1. In this class, 50 is included and 60 is excluded. Therefore, the number of students who scored 40 marks and above is 7 plus 1 equals 8. Next is, how many students scored less than 20 marks? 
The number of students in the class interval, 0 to 10, is 2. Here, the lower limit is 0, and the upper limit is 10. So, 0 is included and 10 is excluded. And in the class interval, 10 to 20 the number of students is 10. Here in the class interval, 10 to 20. 10 is included, and 20 is excluded. Therefore, the number of students who scored less than 20 marks is 2 plus 10 equals 12. Let's recall what we discussed today. A histogram is a graphical representation of grouped data. The bars in a histogram are rectangles with class intervals as the base and corresponding frequency as height. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Draw a histogram for the frequency table made for the data given below and answer the following questions. The weekly wages of 30 workers in a factory are The questions are as follows. 1. Which group has the maximum number of workers? 2. How many workers earn 850 rupees and more? 3. How many workers earn less than 850 rupees? That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting topic.